killing each other is not a solution. Unfortunately, our brothers and sisters in the newest state in Africa, which is endowed with oil, are killing each other today. There would be no one country that would be uh, inhabited by one tribe. There is no such country. But if you say that you don't want a particular tribe, and you believe that you are going to heaven, you are not going to decide which tribe goes to heaven. Now, are you going to tell God that, oh, I don't want to go to heaven and be a neighbor to a Mandinka or a Jola or a Serere? Take me back to hell, because if you go to hell also, you'll find it. I think this world is big enough for us to accommodate each other. It is also small enough for all of us to live together as a closely knit one family of the human beings. Violence would not take any country forward. The more we fight in Africa, the more backwards we become, the more the poorer we become, and the more we are exposed to external dictate. Even food aid now for, for conflict areas is being politicized. I think rather than spend those billions on arms to kill each other, let us spend those billions on agricultural machinery, agro-processing, where it, uh, Africa is lagging behind, mining equipment, petroleum drilling equipment, and set up our own companies. Unfortunately, there is even less intra-African trade. And our trade with the outside world amounts to billions of dollars. But we trading even amongst ourselves is a problem. Why can't we, for the sake of our children, the sake of our continent and for the dignity of black people all over the world. Unite, reconcile, work together as a formidable continent because we are the wealthiest continent on the face of the earth in terms of natural endowments. Unfortunately, in realistic economic terms, we are this, the poorest of the poor. Everybody is looking low upon us. Whereas our own natural resources are being used to fighting those people that hate us. The same natural resources, our own natural resources are being used to kill our own people. Africa was a glorified continent, a dignified continent. And we can still regain our glory.